Hello, 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 it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's inside my cloth and paper subscription box. So if you're interested in seeing what's inside this box, please be sure to stay tuned. All right, great. Thank you so, so, so much again for tuning in with me today. If you're new here, then I'd like to welcome you. And if you're returning, well, I'd still like to welcome you and say thank you for coming back. So like I said, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's inside the cloth and paper subscription box for the month of December. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box. Now this video is going to need to be very short and sweet because if you hadn't heard, I just recently had knee surgery, so I kind of need to go get back in the bed. But I wanted to film this really quick just so I didn't get behind on my filming process. So here is the card for this week, or this box. We get a 2022 desk calendar set. There's inserts, dashboards, mini icon stickers, spotlight stickers, text divider tabs, and journaling cards. So, and again, this comes from cloth and paper. So here's the information for cloth and paper if you would like to check it out. As you know, I do absolutely love this cap this company um, just because I really like the cleanliness and the simplicity of the designs. It just is like a timeless and, you know, it goes with every kind of decor you could possibly imagine. So I just love it. So in here, we have this cute little child sticker. Mm, let me get back out the way. Oh my goodness, how cute is this? A desk calendar, uh, scissors. So we have a super cute desk calendar. So here are all the months. Here, oh my goodness. And then the little holder to put it on. Oh, I absolutely love it. Hmm. I think I love it. Well, oh, perhaps it's just one month at a time. Um, yeah, super, super, super cute. This is a very heavy weight um, material. I'm not sure if it's cardstock or not, but it is very heavy. So I like that. Um, it is great just for, you know, quick notes and to be able to kind of plan out your year. So yeah, I'm super excited about this. It's cute. I'm going to have to figure out how to set it up, but it's very cute and useful. And it'll look really nice on my desk. So I'm excited about that. Then we have these spotlight stickers. So it says there are, it's one of three. I just want to see if they're all three the same colors. I'm not really sure what a, oh yeah, it's just Ooh, yeah, so you have this, get these scissors out of the way. I don't know what, Ristretto? Not sure what that is, but that's a very pretty color. Then you have these other two in different sizes. This is a medium in avant garde. And then you have this other one in Kyoto. And these are the large ones. So those are cool. I can't wait to see someone's video so they can show me what to do with these spotlight stickers because I've never seen these before. But I'm sure someone will post soon what they're doing with theirs. And let's see, here we have our gratitude dashboard, love it. We have, oh, this is cute. It has like all the letters of the alphabet on it. Another little dashboard in white and it's like embossed. Cute, hopefully you guys can see that. We have some, oh, a pocket vision board. 
that's cool. I totally just created a vision board on Canva. Let me know below if you'd like for me to film kind of how I did that because it was really cool. And I actually just used one of the templates that were available. Um, so if you're interested in seeing that, let me know in the comments below and I'll be sure to film that for you. So anyway, here is the vision board. Cool. Awesome. Oh, this is really cool. So it literally is like a whole little vision board planner. Some planner inserts. I really like that. I'm going to have to um, use these and just kind of take a deeper dive into the vision board process. I'm not really, and this is awful to say, but I've never really been a vision board goal writer kind of person. Um, but this year, especially with me wanting to take my business to another level, I decided that it's probably start, it's time for me to get serious and really get to writing things down so that I'm better prepared. So um, here's another, um, oh, habit trackers. Oh, we got lots of cool stuff in this box. So habitual habit trackers. Oh, so you put the habit there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, so you get quite a few pages of these. I don't really track habits, but I do enjoy these. So maybe now is a good time to start, even if it is just like business habits. Um, I don't necessarily feel the need to track like, you know, too many things. Like, I mean, obviously I don't use like track brushing my teeth or anything because I should be doing that anyway. <laughs> so um, it always amazes me when people have like that as their habit to track, but yeah, whatever. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that's a really cool um, set of um, inserts. And of course, we have the February card. I absolutely love these. Because I just think they look really cool in your planner pockets. So here's the February one. Then we have some other little like journaling cards or dashboards. A time for reflection. Oh, these are all really cool. Yeah, and like I said, I just really like how clean and, you know, minimal everything is so that you can literally add it to any type of theme for your planners or whatever. As you know, if you've seen any of my other videos, I do kind of like to do little planner themes, but I always feel like I can still add these things in, which is really cool. Um, oh, some little lifestyle stickers. Cute. So you get the groceries, laundry, cleaning. I don't know, that's like probably like an appointment, food, and then, um, oh, delivery. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. So these are the little icon stickers. These are so cute. I've been trying to get these in my shop, but I just can't, I don't know. These are so cute. <laughs> I'm just having a hard time, I guess, scaling them down to the right size. And I don't know, maybe it's the white paper Maybe if I had some of this clear stuff, I would like them a little bit more, but I do have some nevertheless because the mini or in my shop, I call them micro size are perfect for the pocket size planner. All the other ones are just way too big to fit. So I'm looking forward to using those as well. And last but not least, we have our text divider tabs, which is cool. So we have important follow up, do research today and this month. And these are all in like a matte finish. So, and they're really pretty. Um, yeah, I really like these. So anyway, that is everything that's in this box. I hope that you enjoyed it. Again, please leave me a comment below letting me know what you think about everything and what you would use these spotlight stickers for. And hmm, just anything else you wanna tell me. What are your goals? Did you decide on a word for the year? What, what are your plans for 2022? I'm super excited about it and can't wait to see what this year brings for me. Um, and I'm just looking forward to, you know, all of the newness that a new year brings. So not necessarily working on being a, you know, cliche new year new me no I want to be the same me just maybe a little bit better so, so that's my goal for this year is to you know do what I've been doing but just do it a little bit better a little bit more efficiently um, and my word for the year that I chose is stretch just because I want to stretch myself beyond what even I necessarily think is possible um, but certainly beyond the limits that other people 
put on you um, and the expectations that they set for you. I would like to stretch myself even farther past those because I do genuinely believe that God has something big in store for me. And so it's time for me to start walking in my purpose and walking in what it is that he's created me to be. So anyway, I'm going to get off of that. <laughs> but I'm curious to see what you guys are thinking and just let me know what your plans are for this year. I look forward to seeing with you more, hanging out with you a little bit more. And again, if you have any questions or comments, don't forget to leave them in the description box. I do have the link for cloth and paper as well as the link for my shop in the description box as well. So be sure to check both of those out. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day, friends. Goodbye.